so Bees is playing his longtime secondary now main, Olimo. Floats playing his longtime secondary now, I don't know what's happening. Pokemon trainer, no, I mean Roy. Uh, and he hasn't done a single lick of damage, not a one. Bees hasn't even pulled a yellow. Yeah, what's up? <gasps> Yay! Alright, sorry guys. I uh, have Rock Band for my birthday, so I'm out of here. Alright, see y'all later. Enjoy watching DEATH! Oh wow, Olimar didn't even die. That's shameful, really. Death! Death! What? Did the red not die because it blazes up a, a fire move? That hits up there? Jesus. Oh! Got him! Alright, I'm out. Bye. Hey, what's up gamers? This is Joe Motion, and today we're going to be looking at a Float versus Bees matchup of the century. Float is going to be showing off his new Roy, switching from that trademark Falco, and um, he was doing pretty good, but um, we're, we're just hopping in here, and, and Olimar is sitting a stock ahead. We're going to see what uh, he's going to be able to do with this. Nice little string here. That's single flower yellow, Bees absolutely adores already racking up 99% in a single string float struggling to get any percent right now good spacing by bees the nice back air and Roy has a tough time recovering that's gonna be game number one it's all fun and games though as the boys crack some smiles having a good time here at SG get right into the uh, into the second game here as uh, float bands some stages or bees sorry now floats gonna pick FD classic Roy stage though it may be hard to get in against the Olimar because all those purple and yellow Pikmin are gonna do be some wonders in the spacing Yeah, reset by bees and he's gonna get a little bit of a chain grab here and it's one of the problems with going FD is Olimar is gonna be able to get that chain grab onto Roy get him to at least around 60-70% and then a back air of course Roy's atrocious recovery he's not gonna be able to come back from that bees sitting at 41% definitely not bad but um but this is not um impossible to float he just needs to get some good strings started, like right here. Some nice up airs. Already 107%. That's the thing with this matchup. It can really go either way. Whoever gets the uh, whoever gets the the combos started is, is going to rack up a lot of percent, especially here on FD, where there's no no platforms to get in the way. Good back air there. Classic, classic back air. One of Roy's best finishes. Side B stall is gonna be a detriment to float here as these plucks that out of the air with a nice forward air. Float looking to start something of his own. Tipper forward smash, of course, on Roy, that's not a good thing, but still racking up percent. Already at 60%. 66, definitely not bad. 
So against a single flower yell, I definitely see Flo having trouble getting this kill off. As long as Beans plays it passively. Gets those good trademark combos. He's not gonna die yet. Charging the Oh, he was a little afraid, a little afraid there. He's in with no pick. Oh, he's got a white in mind. Still one of his worst pick and float. Almost taking out this stock already. Ooh, nice sweet spot by Bees. That would have been that would have been the stock. Nice forward smash and float taking the lead in this FD match. He just needs one more stock to go on Bees. Nice back air by Bees is gonna uh, force float off stage, and this is gonna be a last stock situation. Go with plenty of Pikmin on B side. Oh, as I say that, Float getting a great combo. Already at 70% juggling uh, Bees off stage here. I think Float was going for a bit of a jump read there. Trying to finish this off quickly with a back air before Bees can get too much percent off with those yellows. Good, smart recovery. Bees definitely would have caught the side Bees fall there, so it was great going right to the edge there. Some empty hops and load, unfortunately. It hits him with the up B, saving his life. And the <laughs> neutral V charge. Wow, that was something. I don't know how I feel about that one. <laughs> Alright, 1-1 one, one here. Float with his new Roy, showing that he's got, got, the, got the stuff. He can tango with the best of them, as they say. They say that. Let's see where Bees opts to go here. Some bands on Dreamland and Norfair for um, Bees. Or, sorry, for Float. I think. Um, we'll see where uh, Bees brings this, but I, I would imagine the, the Tri Plat. Uh, maybe Smashville. Okay, Smashville works. I actually have no idea what I'm talking about, so. Uh, <laughs> that was just a guess. Uh, but. I know that Bees historically does like going here, so I can see it. Though, it is a bit of a... It, it's FD, like, half the time, so... Um, we'll see how, how Float can take advantage of all the empty space. Uh, from what I saw, Bees was mostly dominating the neutral, but Float got some uh, good combo strengths. Some, uh, some... I wouldn't say random, but some... Some spare forward smashes in there. Did, did him wonders in the last match, so we'll see if he can uh, pull any of that together here. Good movement on the platform, but B shields it and gets into his combo. Nice, Float gets out of the tech chase situation, but those dash attacks are knocking Roy up at this percent, so it's a very easy combo starter. Oh, the blue grab all the way across the platform. Back air. Oh, Bees unfortunately missing the ledge there, but he still cleans it up. Bees still on his first stock. We'll see. It's going to be pretty important for Float to clear this up soon. I can see a nice down tilt into back air. I don't know if it actually links at this high percent, but Bees is just has a great yellow-purple combo right now. Good backer there by Flo to clear that up, but uh, but Bees is definitely in command of this lead with no damage taken on the stock. Oh, wow, the upper kills. It's brutal. Forward smash, trying to catch out that Pikmin. Nice, yeah, the forward smashes are, are really good. Oh! Bees giving Float a little bit of a freebie there. Dies at like 38%, but that was a good uh, good force match by Float to get him off stage. Another situation where he's getting him off stage. I think this is what won in the last match, in my opinion. So Beast needs to stop that as quick as possible. 
float, getting back from another two play situations. Oh, and unfortunately, that is the set. Float going down into losers. Bees moving on.